maybe wide receiver who took a step back last year, but someone you're expecting maybe a big season from. You know, I'm thinking about Brandon Marshall, and we've seen Brandon do some really good things in this league. You know, he's going to go out there and, and be that guy that can move the chains great in the red zone. Eli, not having a target like him since maybe Plexico Burris, that size and that weight. And I've been paying attention to his Instagram. He's one of my close friends. He's like a little big brother. His workouts this summer were unbelievable. I mean, to the point where I reached out to him after watching like three clips of him doing three types of workouts in one day. And I said, listen, I'm looking at your Instagram live. I see you working out. And I just want to tell you, this is going to be a big year. And I sent the message and I waited a second. I said, and I don't mean a big year in the sense that Brandon Marshall's having a decent year helping this offense improve. I mean, Brandon Marshall's having a career year helping the Giants get to the Super Bowl. And he said, I, I, will, I will receive that. I will receive that in faith. Thank you, big bro. You're a defense coordinator. You got to make a decision. You got Eli, you got Sterling out there who's young, fast, going to be in the slot, and then you got Odell. Odell is going to be double covered. That means you're going to put a number two or a three DB on Brandon. And we all know Brandon. He's no punk. So if you got that type of talent on him, he's going to take that as a sign of disrespect. And I'll take him winning those nine, nine times out of ten.